In order to keep the home fires burning, you're going to need some firewood. And joining me is Paul Ray from ISU. Now, Paul, what's the best kind of wood to use as firewood? Well, if you're buying firewood, you want to buy the dense woods, which would be oak and hickory and, and hard maple. Uh, the less dense woods, such as cottonwood and pine and basswood, just way less per piece. Otherwise, there's no difference in wood. A pound of oak is just as good, as, is not any better than a pound of, of cottonwood in terms of the heat value. We're just talking about a difference in density. So if you're buying it, buy the dense woods. Okay, now if you're buying, you should buy in your area, right? Yeah, if you're buying, I think you need to buy within the state. Uh, and that's to prevent the potential introduction of uh, the emerald ash bo uh, borer, which is, if it gets here, it's going to destroy our ashes totally. And of course, mm -hmm. ash is a great firewood, so we don't want that to happen. Okay. Now, if you're going to chop down your own firewood, any special tips? Well, safety always, because it, it, it's a hazardous thing, because you're, you're often you're operating equipment, chainsaws and wood splitters and, and stuff like that, so you need to be very, very safe. Other than that, you need to plan ahead if you're going to burn firewood, because to have dry firewood, you need to plan a year ahead of time. So you need to cut it, uh, split it to the size you want, get it stacked up, and then let it sit for a year before you begin to burn it. Because if you don't, you're gonna get less heat from it and you have the potential problems of, of creosote in your stove and some hazards there as well. Okay, and do you need to um, keep it covered? No, I don't think so. I think if you have it out in the open, you don't need to keep it covered. Although, once you start to burn in the fall, you probably wanna keep it covered to keep the snow off of it. Okay, all right, thanks for the tips. And if you would like more information on firewood, be sure to log on to gardeninginthezone.com. I'm Liz Gelman.